Yo, what is good, ladies and gentlemen? It is me, it's Bash. I have a search and destroy for you on Quarry. Um, I haven't had a search and destroy game for a while. So, I mean, I've been putting up a lot of dominations, TDMs, more of the fast paced games. So, I figured, um, you know, why not give you guys a little bit of the tactical side of things? Although, I don't use too much tactics in this game, I kind of just run out there. Uh, but the first thing I want to talk about, you know, let's just get this out of the way. Um, I know I've been using this Red Tiger ACR a lot. <laughs> I apologize. I haven't been playing this game too much, so I haven't been gathering a lot of gameplay. And I guess at the time um, when I when I played all of these games, um, I actually just was mad infatuated with the freaking Red Tiger ACR. <laughs> it's still one of my favorite guns. Uh, Red Tiger is one of my favorite colors. I saw someone comment. Like, is it just me, or does he always use the, you know, Red Tiger? Red Tiger is like my favorite camo, so that is why I use it. But, um, yeah, I mean, uh, I, I use it a lot. It's one of my favorite guns. It gets the job done. It's efficient. Um, it's a good gun to use for me all around. I'm going to keep using it, but uh, I'll try to use different guns so I can get you guys, you know, more variety uh, and, you know, different types of games. And uh, hopefully keep everybody entertained and everybody happy because I'm trying to be diplomatic here. I want everyone to be, you know, on the up and up. But... <laughs> But anyways, enough of that. Oh, oh yeah, one more thing, one side note. Um, I just had a basketball game, and um, my I, I've been running around. I was like hustling. It was the semifinals. We won. Um, uh, you know, if you're following me on Twitter, you probably already know all this. We won the game in overtime by one point or two points. It was close, but um, we're going to the finals next week. But uh, yeah, if my voice sounds a little raspy, it's because you know I've been running around and. Um, been yelling and you know just hyped up over the game so <laughs> I apologize in advance but um anyways you guys are hearing this um commentary on August 26th and uh 24 years ago I was born it's my birthday today so um you know I figured um I have, I have you know I, I didn't really think of anything in particular I wanted to talk about but I think I know what I want to talk about in this commentary um I have something in mind for you know I guess this is kind of like my birthday commentary we could call it um and what I want to talk about is school and the importance of school. And uh, I know you guys are probably like, oh, this is going to be lame. This is going to be mad lame. Just, you know, just listen, hear me out. This is quick. I promise you this is like a three-minute talk because I've already been talking for two minutes and this is, you know, there's only two more rounds left. <laughs> but, um, you know, I just want to say, like, I know a lot of the, a lot of my subscribers, a lot of you guys are younger. Um, I know there's a lot of people who are around my age, but a lot of people are younger, maybe, you know, in university, just starting out university or still in high school, finishing it up or even just starting it out. And um, I figured, you know, a little couple of words of wisdom wouldn't hurt just because I'm 24 now and um, I've kind of been there and done that. And I'm done with school. I graduated, for those who don't know, I graduated university when I was 21 years old. So, I mean, I finished pretty quick. I was kind of like on the ball with it. And um, the reason for this was because, you know, my upbringing was, um, was, it wasn't strict at all. Like, my parents were mad cool. I could pretty much do whatever I want. I could play any games I want. I could watch TV all day. I was, I was able to do anything. Like, I was, I was cool. But the one thing my parents did stress on was doing well in school. And that's something that I took kind of seriously, too. I, I mean, I guess they kind of brought me up well enough that they, they kind of put that into my head, into my mind. So school was always really important for me. And, um, you know, I just want to say, like, if you're in your last two years, last one or two years of, you know, high school, like, I know it's a big sacrifice. You want to have fun. I wanted to have fun, too. But um, you really got to work hard, man, because um, putting in a couple of years of hard work right now, and I'm talking about, you know, your last one, two years of high school so you can get into university and a couple of years in university just so you can get by. Um, you work hard now, you're going to have an easy life later. And I know, like, three, four years seems like a big deal because for some of you guys, that's like one-fifth or one-fourth of your entire life. But um, in the long run, when you're 28, 29, 30, you're really going to realize just how how serious it is to really, you know, how much of a difference it makes just to put in a little bit of effort. I mean, you can still have all the fun you want, play all the video games you want, go to the movies. I mean, I played all the games I wanted, went to all the movies. I was going to all the dances. I was, I was out and about. I was on the basketball team. I was, uh, you know, I was doing everything I really wanted to do. But um, I still kept a low ahead and I was focused. And, um, you know, it's paid off for me now. And, you know, a lot of the things you'll notice is people who are, you know, quote unquote cool, people who were cool back in the days, like, oh, yo, they were skipping classes. They didn't care about doing their homework. They didn't care about exams. They didn't study. They were like, yo, F that right out of high school. Some of them didn't even finish. They just got jobs, like, right away in a factory or working as, you know, doing whatever. And um, not to knock on those types of jobs because that's hard work, too, and we need that in our society. But 
for those guys, I used to think, man, that guy's the man. You know, he doesn't give a shit about anything. He's got his Honda Civic. He's making like eight hundred to a thousand dollars a month. Like this guy is the man. But looking back now, I realize that man, like, they're they're not the man. They are not the man right now because where I'm at right now, just because I worked a little bit harder, and maybe you know, I might have put in a little bit more work than them. I was, you know, I'm able to, I was able to get myself through university, get a good job, and now I'm able to, you know, drive the car I want to drive, and I'm able to make the money I want to make, and I'm able to travel and do all the types of things I want to do now, and because of that little bit of hard work I put in, you know, just in those couple years of my life, you know, from my last couple years of high school till I finished university, now I have it really easy. I wouldn't say easy, but I have it, you know, pretty good in comparison to a lot of jobs. Like, I get to relax, I'm on a computer, I'm kind of, you know, updating my freaking YouTube, my Twitter, you know, I'm taking it easy. No one's watching me. No one's making me time in and time out. Like, you know what I mean? And that's what comes with kind of getting that type of professional job. And I mean, like a lot of, I know in Canada, at least we got a lot of immigrants and my parents were immigrants and the opportunity that I was given to be able to, to get to where I'm at now, I really wanted to take advantage of that. And I did. And, um, I'm not trying to brag, but I'm just trying to inspire some of you guys who are like right now, really might not understand how important it is just to work hard. And you can still have all the fun you want, I promise you. I promise you that. All you got to do is just balance it. Balance it right. Um, have a little bit of fun, but just, you know, put in, like, and especially in high school, I mean, you just need, like, 30 to an hour every day of just finishing your work, or even less. I mean, I put in even less. I'm not going to lie, but... Um, you know, that's just something I wanted to touch on. I guess you could call it my birthday, you know, good deed. Once a year, let's get back to, you know, Modern Warfare 2. This is the only time you're going to hear this from me, but I thought I'd touch on it because it's been, you know, something I've been seeing in the community. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to let you guys know my thoughts. So, yeah. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and um, you can leave your comments in the comment section like usual. Like I said, I promise you a different gun for next commentary. I promise you that. You can keep me to my word. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon, all right? Peace.